I feel like I'm expecting to be a little bit lost with the story, but I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to trust the process. I'm, I'm telling you, every single episode starts with death. It, st it starts with the decimation of some sort of form of life. It's unhealthy. You shouldn't be watching this. The transmission we received. What is it they've sent us? Hope. So that's the that's the baby, right? That's one of the babies from from last episode. All growed up. So how many years does this game take place since the last one? I think it's a healthy way to start each episode by asking that question. You guys know what you're talking about, and I, I trust that. So to repeat the uh, tradition, when does this take place? Like 20? Ish? I'm always surprised by the amount of time. Okay, that makes sense. Everybody seems to really like me around here. Do you see that? That guy threw me a salute real quick. Look at that. I've never felt this respected. This this game is really appealing to my fantasies right now. Thank you very much, fella. Ah, oh, the terrified ones just aren't about it. Well, then you aren't about living on this ship. These are some bad fellas. Do I have a guy with a gun? Oh, there he is. Can I not switch to him? I can't. All right, all right. We haven't really used the guns too much uh, in the prequels, so kind of looking forward to tearing shit up. Oh, shit. We're meeting the big daddy right away? He's huge. He's big. He's ready to go. He's not happy either. We, we fucking... Kind of got his life ruined, didn't he? But he did it to himself. So has he just been wreaking havoc for the last 20 years or something? Has he just been making everybody's life a living hell? That's pretty cool, honestly. There's a... Wait, there's a hole in the wall where the men can... I thought... I, I thought you were about to make a glory hole joke, dude. This, this is a Lego Star Wars video, okay? Jesus Christ. Don't go near the Darth Vader glory hole. Worst mistake of my life. Wait, can I... Can I... Oh, I can wear it. More and more stormtroopers are docking. And these are the, uh, the dirty, rotten traitors, right? So the, the bad guys basically just took our, our own fellas and used them against us. I don't like that. Oh, wait. Oh, so these aren't the clones? Hang on, I need to get my story straight here. The clones and the stormtroopers aren't the same, all right? That's news to me. I'm... I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I feel like I knew that in some capacity, okay? Don't judge me. You can see they basically wear the same drip. You can see where the confusion might come from. I always forget there's a bread meter in this game. It is such an un... It, it's like such an inoffensive bread meter. There's no emphasis on it at all, which is really disappointing. The bread just ain't hitting like it used to, and that's a very, very dangerous thing for somebody's mental health. Okay, so Big Darthy, Daddy Darth, if you will, is just going around the galaxy, talking shit, and, and and backing it up, basically. He's unstoppable at this point, is what I'm gathering. Please give the Empire a warm welcome by surrendering peacefully and handing over the plans. Uh, I don't think so, brother. Plans for what, by the way? I'm lost. Daddy Darth followed the ship through hyperspace after the events of Rogue One a few minutes ago, and before then he wanted to get some Force sensitives to make them Inquisitors as well. I'm not gonna lie, man. You basically just spoke Chinese to me. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you just said. We're 318. I thought you were 318. <laughs> no, I'm 184. <laughs> man, what a goof. I kind of like these fellas. I don't really want to put a bullet between their eyes right now. If they're not the clones that broke my heart and they really are just random, like, military men, basically. Can we just let them goof? Oh no, they have been like pillaging their way across the galaxy. I should probably uh, do the world a favor, right? I should probably not be repping their military armor as well, considering the things that they've probably done by this point. Again, I'm just surmising, but they did just come onto this ship and decide it's theirs now, which, you know, if you look throughout history, the, the ones who do that aren't exactly, uh, <laughs> aren't exactly the good guys. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. <laughs> I hope, I hope that Darth Vader is just like unwaveringly belligerent the entire fucking game, okay? I hope that he is just 
the most stubborn bastard you could come across. Absolutely no reasoning with this man whatsoever. Does he know that that's his kid? Because that is his kid, if I remember correctly. And uh, not to toot my own horn, but I am a bit of a uh, Star Wars lore expert by this point. Luke! Is this a Luke moment? So has Luke just been vibing this entire time? He's not involved in any uh, Star Warring business? I didn't expect this to move so fast, but I guess I should have uh, expected that. So he uh, he has no idea what he's about to become a part of, right? My apologies, sir. That's our told you, and it has always been a problem. Uncle Owen's not going to be happy if I lose it. Let's go get him back. Oh, wait. <laughs> has R2 just gone AWOL? <laughs> Is this how this really goes down? Is it, can Luke actually throw hands before all of the uh, Jedi moments? Luke's an absolute killer, dude. There you go. Who the fuck is this guy? Is that? Hello there. You're fortunate to be all in one piece. You are such a weird old man, you know that? Does old mate Obi just hang around in fucking caves all day? The weird fella? Isaiah in like nine years. Every time I pop up in your subscription feed, it basically, that's how I look. Hello there. I've just been hanging out in a cave for the last 20 years. This guy is a, a, a he's just a weird guy. You fought in the Clone Wars? Yes, I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father, which reminds me. How did my father die? Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> I fucking killed him. Just tell the truth, brother. He stepped up and he fucking found out what happens when you step up to Daddy Obi, I'll tell you that. Why doesn't he just tell the truth? You must learn the ways of the Force. Oh. I've got to get home. It's late. I'm in for it as it is. Yeah, I'm on that. I'm on that junkyard grind set, dude. I don't have time to hang around in caves all day, you weird old man. Eperu! There's nothing for me here now. <laughs> I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a <laughs> Jedi like my father. The plot points just keep coming, dude. I love it. This is the way to tell a story, okay? Come, we must travel to Mos Eisley. There we will find ourselves a pilot who will take us to Alderaan. You we weird old man, let's do it. I love how he just like, he's complaining about how he needs to get home and then he just looks out in the distance for like three seconds and he's like, you know what? I, I actually think I've had a complete change of heart. Take me on this journey, weird old man. Oh wait, was his, so his family didn't just up and leave. His family was dead. Man, we are moving quick. We've just traded in the entirety of our family for a grandfather. Let's see your identification and bring those droids over here. An Imperial checkpoint. Now what? I did not know that these guys had as much of a uh, hold on, I guess, here and everywhere else at this point. Oh, am I just going to make him, like, go jump off a cliff or something? Oh, no. Open the door first would probably be a, uh, a good starting point. Hey, your droids. They'll have to wait outside. We don't want them here. Oh, what? We should inquire about a pilot to take us to Alderaan. Yeah, right. we should probably inquire with the local government about the clear discrimination against droids around here. I won't, I won't stand for that. All right, this may actually surprise you, but I know who these two are. So we're off to a good start. Harrison Ford. Harry Fella. Two iconic characters. How could I forget? Is, is there like a, there's like a chosen one aspect to Star Wars, right? Like, Luke Sky Skywalker is the chosen one. That's why Grandfather Obi is so persistent about him. Because Old Mate was meant to be the chosen one, and he was kind of like the, uh... He, he, he kind of went wayward, so I guess his offspring is the, <laughs> is the next best thing you can get. You poor soul. You poor soul. You're literally the alternative. You're the second choice. You're the best buy version of your father. Oh, aren't we all? Let's go. We gotta be somewhere. Stop that ship. Uh, uh. All right, the feds showed up. Let me get this straight, right? So we first come back into contact with Obi after the last episode, and he's sitting in a cave and he's just kind of chilling. So for the last 20 years, things have just gone to shit, basically. And uh, Darth Vader is is destroying the world as we know it, the galaxy as we know it. And he's he, has he just been sitting in a cave the entire time? Or basically, I guess what I'm asking is, did Darth Vader just rise to power and everybody just collectively 
accepted that we're doomed? Is that it? We must have lost pretty bad for everybody to just collectively decide that there's nothing we can do about this. We're fucked. Okay, I will admit I am like a caveman playing this level, as with most levels, but you can't deny, what are we doing, man? This, <laughs> this fucking ship construction feels like it's taking the duration of my lifespan. You're standing in between me and greatness right now. You understand that. I'm the semi-chosen one, okay? Can the Sasquatch finish up the construction of the ship so we can... Thank you, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna cut most of that out of the video, but we, we have been inside this fucking junkyard arena for like 30 years at this point. I mean, I suppose 20 years passed and we didn't do anything about the fucking uprising of this new military order, so another 30 years isn't gonna make much of a difference, is it? He's heading for that small moon. Uh, that's no moon. It's a space station. Uh, we're caught in a tractor beam, it's pulling us in. The Death Star? Oh, so we're just right into it. This is moving quick. I want every part of this ship checked. Yes, sir. I sense something. A presence I have not felt seen. Huh? Huh? He's just a weird father figure, you know? I just want him to acknowledge that he is my father as Luke Skywalker. Perhaps that will happen in moments to come. No plan whatsoever. We've just decided to waltz on in here. Oh, I like these guys. What's, uh, what's their deal? This is an interesting configuration for a helmet. I like acknowledging the designs that I like in this series, right? Because then people in the comments, they always have these really great little explanations for them. And honestly, it's kind of one of my favorite parts of making this series. Oh, not one of these again. Not one of these again. Down, up, right, down. Down, up, right, down. Leave me alone. He's pushing human cerebral capacity to new heights. Yeah, I'm not as big a fan of this kind of drip. You'll never see me rocking a chin strap. What is that creature doing? That wonderful little creature on the TV oh, playing the piano. You what see him? Sorry, took all my attention. That is a wonderful creature. He says he has found the main Don't take it off the screen. What are you fucking doing? I must go alone. The force will be with you. Always. Okay, whatever you say, old man. All right, so in the words of uh, C-3PO, the princess is scheduled for termination. I actually kind of forgot she'd been captured, so Chewbacca's our uh, fake prisoner. Interesting. Nothing to see here, just transporting this dirty Wookiee to his cell. Oh my, oh my god. Chill with the fucking slurs, dude. Who is this? Han Solo, oh my god. Relax, man. I don't even think I can put that on YouTube. We might be in some trouble. What do you want me to do? Trick the Imperials into powering up the turbo lifts? How? I'm not a master of manipulation. You're gonna have to let me know. Video game difficult. Please tell me what to do. Oh. Is that what I was meant to do? Or was that completely optional? Oh wait, are we like, did we just build a Darth Vader decoy? The uh, intruders have been found and are being punished for coming on our moon ship thingy. So everyone can start using the elevators again. I don't know about you, but I'm convinced. How does that go down in the movies? How do they manage that? See, this is where the uh, superior storytelling of the Lego games comes into play. Because I can't think of a better plot device than a, a fake Darth Vader to get us through here. They definitely didn't do that in the movies, so I'm comfortable to experience it this way, that's for sure. That was the uh, light switch, not the detention center controls, if you hadn't noticed. I had noticed. I was just testing to see if you would notice. What does it want me to do? Let's figure that out. Is there some sort of... Do I need to match some sort of pattern here that I'm not seeing? Pattern? Where is the answer to my questions? Maybe... Oh, okay, right, right, right. She's Okay, she's giving us the answers. Good stuff. That's good teamwork. Let's also cut out the part where I spent 15 minutes trying to figure out what the hell I meant to input here. All right, there we go. Let's... There's, there's always another problem. I swear if Daddy Darth walks down this hallway, we're going to be in trouble. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Hey, come on. All right, they don't know that they're siblings because they haven't met, right? Oh, no, right. Ooh. Are we in a boss battle right now? Oh, we are. Cue the Dark Souls music. This actually seems a bit more like a Bloodborne enemy. There's always some 
freak with tentacles in that game, so probably a little bit more accurate. Is he wearing a helmet right now? It's fucking sentient, dude. Get rid of it. Come, oh, my friend. You must be swift and silent. You're throwing around a lot of orders for a man who sat in a cave for 20 years and watched the galaxy burn. I'm just saying, I don't know how accurate that actually is to the story, but that's the impression that I'm getting here. All his friends died, he was horribly depressed. Look, that's really sad and all, but dude, look at the skill you can wield at like 85 years old. You gotta put that to use. He's 54, he's 85, man. All right? <laughs> this is my this is my video. He's a senile 85 year old that sat in a cave for 20 years. That's the official Star Wars lore. Let's do some Jedi mind tricks. Let's make him a uh, panic. Oh, he straight, he straight up turns on his own boys. God, that's actually kind of a horrifying thing. C can Jedi's really do that? It only works on the weak minded. Oh, interesting. So can can a Jedi like change your mind? about something forever or is it is it like an area of influence kind of thing we've got to be within like a hundred meters of the victim or can I, I don't know if you hate pickles on your mcdonald's burger can obi-wan go up to you one time and basically change your mind about that can he make you like pickles forever or is it only while he's like working his magic you know what i mean it's temporary damn the implications of an ability where that's permanent are crazy see these are the things i want to see explored more in the star wars universe if they haven't been already okay <laughs> that's not how the force works it's how it works all right i think i know what i'm talking about oh no daddy darth and daddy obi reunite for the first time in 20 years since he was sitting in the cave for ages. I don't care what you say, that's what happened. Yes, yes, that's... <laughs> Is Darth Vader just pumping iron? So Obi sat in a cave for 20 years and Darth Vader's been pumping iron for 20 years. I don't think we've got the upper hand here at all. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was not the learner. Now I am the master. Yeah, I, I, I'm inclined to believe you. Are we just leaving Obi to die because Darth Vader's looking pretty fucking swole? Taste of their own medicine, you know? I'm sure they've told plenty of people to face the wall in their time. Ah, I'm allergic to Wookiees! Why is everybody so racist? Dude, what is wrong with Chewbacca? He is like probably the least assholey character I've experienced. I thought it was Obi, but again, I can't get over the whole sitting in a cave thing while the universe goes to shit. What's wrong with you people? He's not racist, he's just got allergies. Right, okay, that's definitely a perspective. Let's let's not justify his actions, all right? So obviously the main goal here was to uh, break the princess out of uh, out of prison, essentially, but are we just trying to escape now? Is Is... What's going on with Obi as well? He's locked in battle at the moment or something. I suppose this probably won't be the last time that we come here. And this whole fucking joint gets blown up eventually, I know that, so... It will be interesting to see how that comes about. Father Obi, let's do this. We're going We're going to help him out, right? No, oh, we're, we're just trying to escape. <laughs> Never mind, I just looked at the objective. Are we not collecting our boy first? Jesus Christ, this whole galaxy is full of snakes, dude. We're gonna be fine. Let's go pick up our grandfather first. There's no way we just leave him here. Well, there we go. Your powers are weak, old man. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Holy shit, that is one of the coldest things I've ever heard. No! <laughs> what? Hang on a second. So does, did he just allow himself to be killed? What is the purpose of that? He did go out on one of the coldest lines I have ever heard. Probably the coldest line ever spoken in a video game. Surely that is one-to-one -one with the movie dialogue. Because he was... Sp he was bitten right there. I kind of had a feeling he would get game ended there, but not- I didn't expect his uh, entire body to just disintegrate and there to be nothing left but clothing, but dude, if there was a way to go, that was the way to do it. So is that his like role in everything just done? Just pick up his fucking grandson and drop him into whatever the hell is going on right now? All right, okay. Little Lucas 
has a lot to live up to, I guess. Oh, so did we steal some sort of information as well? So that was not just a rescue mission, it was also a, a gathering of intel, or was that just coincidental? I don't know. Let's analyze these plans real quick, find out what the hell's going on. Please tell me that grandfather Obi didn't die for nothing. A small one-man fighter should be able to penetrate the outer defense. We're jumping straight into it? Who's man in the ship? How experienced is uh, Luke with flying ships and stuff? <laughs> Fighters coming in, point three. Luke, trust your feelings. Hmm. Oh my god. The old man never fucking dies, dude. Not truly. <laughs> oh man, he's speaking to us from beyond the grave. He spent 20 years in a cave and now he's just gonna spend the remainder of his existence in our head. This is hell, dude. Get this geriatric out of my brain stem. Hello there. Shoot the smaller exhaust. He traded the cave for my consciousness and I, I never gave consent to that. I never even hinted at the fact that that would be something that I'm into. Not once. Luke is a victim, all right? There is an old man in his head and he won't go away. It's open! It's open! Get a torpedo down there now! <gasps> oh! Holy shit, all right. I, was, I thought that happened in movies to come. Not right now. Great shot, kid! That was one in a million! Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Vacate the premises immediately. Oh my god, we're war heroes. I'll take it, dude. I swear to god if he doesn't get a medal. These pieces of shit, dude. 